Hello everyone, this is a Rumble Bear 22 review, and today I am bringing you a Bionicle review. And today I have Tahu Toa of Fire. So this is from the new 2015 uh, Bionicle line. Uh, so yeah, so on the back here we just have an image of Tahu in action. We have the Skull Spider, which are the enemies for the new Bionicle series. I'm kind of disappointed that they don't really have their own set of uh, elemental bad guys like they did in the older waves. It's sort of just all these little tiny spiders that you get with each Toa, as well as the main bad spider. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So I'm kind of a little disappointed that they didn't make um, a new line of enemies. Well, I mean, they did make a line of enemies, but like, I mean, a, a collectible line of enemies that are like, you know, come in their own sets. But, you know whatever it'll do. Instead, we have something else, which I will review later. Um, so yes, on the box here, not a whole lot. We just have, uh, yeah, it says here, Tahu, Master of Fire. Uh, what else? No. Yeah, no sides. It's all these uh, triangle sides here, so oh well. But uh, yeah, so they don't come in canisters like they used to. I mean, I, I guess you know, the whole eco-friendly stuff that's gone over for the last, what, 10 years since Bionicle has been gone has prevented them from making canisters again. I don't know. That's just my guess. But uh, anyway, it's still pretty cool. They look really nice. These are not um, the Technic system that they used to use back in the old waves. Um, this is the uh, same system they used for Hero Factory. Uh, so, yeah. I gotta say, I like the. You can say what you want about Hero Factory. It, but you can say what you want about Hero Factory, but um, they did have a good system. I will admit, I I liked it a lot better than the Technic system. There was a lot more, you know, posability, and it just looked, you know, a lot cooler. I guess. Um, right here we have how the Skull Spider works. It basically latches on to the face of said Toa. And I don't know if it mind controls them or not, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what their gimmick is. If so, then they're pretty much like the Krana from the Borok wave. If anybody remembers that, feel free to look it up. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, oh, yeah, on the side here we have a customization sheet here. Let me see if I can just zoom that in a bit. Uh, not really... Oh, well. But anyway, basically you have um, the other set, which I have three of these guys. These uh, They're the, the Protector series, which I also have and I will unbox. Three of them. Um, so basically these are like the, uh, I guess, the Village Elders or the Sages or whatever, I guess. Kind of like the um, the ones back in the, the 2005, if anybody remembers them. But these guys are completely different. They're new. And uh, yes, you can uh, do combo transformations like you could way back in the early 2000s, so that's pretty cool. Comes with a golden Kanohi mask. Again, pretty awesome. So again, similar to the very first wave where you could get golden masks for these guys, but they came in separate packs. So you had to get those separately, which kind of sucks, but it's good to see that they're included with a Toa. And I guess it is kind of cool that you get a bad guy. But uh, okay, so I've rambled on enough. So I will unbox um, Tahu in just a moment here. Okay, so let's unbox Tahu, Toa of Fire. So just quickly, I'll just crack the tape here. Again, that's probably very blurry. However, I can't adjust the camera right now. So, kind of a weird setup they got going on here, but still interesting nonetheless. Okay. So we got, wow, okay, um, let's put that off to the side here, let's move this back so we can get a little bit more interesting, hold on a second, there we go, sorry about that, just lowering the camera a bit, alright, so here we go, we have the instruction manual, so, okay, there we go, got some parts, wouldn't be a bionicle without the parts, and we got some extra pieces, which I'm going to guess these are for his weapons, his swords. So, there we go. There we go. We got the main body piece. 
Again, got to autofocus here. Not doing a very good job, but nonetheless, we'll get through it. All right, so um, these guys actually don't look pretty big, so hold on. Okay. Uh, let's just open these guys up. And that was my girlfriend in the uh, back there that you probably heard. <sighs> Oh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm only, I'm only trying to, uh, you know, <laughs> make a video. Anyway, so here's the masks. Just want to take a good look at them. It's been so long. Wait, there we go. Been so long since I've seen uh, Bionicle masks. That looks really cool. A little smaller than the ones from the Technic system, but whatever. We have the Skull Spider. That looks pretty cool, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, I was giving them a little bit of flax, thinking that, you know, they, they're they kind of cheap for uh, as far as Bionicle villains go, but they do look pretty cool, so that's pretty cool. Does this glow in the dark? I don't know. This looks like the kind of green that glows in the dark. Oh, well, whatever. Um, so, yeah. Quick look at the booklet here. Yep. Got a little comic here on the side. Shows uh, the protector of fire, that guy in the corner, in case you can't see him. Um, yeah, dealing with some of these skull spiders. Okay, that's pretty cool. Seems to be meeting up with Toa. Tahu. And yeah. So, this is uh, taking me through um, uh, Nostalgic Lane right now because if I'm not saying a whole lot or if, it, if I'm kind of a little bit sl slurring a bit, well, it's because I'm kind of, you know pretty excited to do this. Um, I've been a big fan of Bionicle way back in the early days, and uh, this is going to be it's gonna be a pretty fun experience. So I think I will assemble most of this, and then I will come back with the final version. Okay, so here we have fully assembled Tahu, Toa of Fire. So, all around looks really cool. I really like this system for Tahu. Um, he looks a lot more bulkier, I guess, like more more mass, like I guess I guess you could say masculine or more bulkier um, with all this armor. The head's a lot smaller than the uh, original versions of Tahu from the earlier days, but it looks more proportionate, I think. I really like the red too. The red looks nice, and the golden armor, the golden red, uh, really complement each other. So it looks really cool. Um, you got his lava board, which can come off of his foot, and uh, got some pieces stuck in here or whatever. But uh, those are just used to support the board, and uh, these things attach two blades which you can disconnect by taking this piece off and these come apart and then you just stick them in like that so that looks pretty cool so now he's got dual blades and of course he's got this little gear system at the back here which can allow him to do <laughs> this 
kind of like a running uh, like attack, but you know, that looks really cool. That really brings me back to the uh, old days and I'm really glad they included that. I don't know why, but Hero Factory, I bought a few Hero Factory sets and they don't have any, you know, gear functions like this. So this is really cool. I do like the gear system as well. And I don't know what these are for exactly if they act like, I don't know, extra weapons or something, but uh, these two blades come up like that. And of course, oh, we also have his golden mask which can be attached. Well, I guess before I put it on, I do like the new head. It looks really awkward without the helmet because it looks really skinny. But if I don't drop it, I can put the mask on right here. There we go. That looks nice. There we go. So either way, either mask works wonderfully with Tahu because he's got a good healthy amount of gold and red, so... That looks really nice. I gotta say, he looks cool. He looks kind of a little bit cooler with the golden mask, but it looks a bit more, I don't know. It looks a little bit off, but uh, yeah, it still looks interesting though. That's like the best thing I can say. I mean, I guess because there's already a gold chest plate here, the mask looks kind of off being right next to it. But uh, again, I do like these colors and the swords are pretty sick too. I'm sorry if I'm not giving a very good uh, criticism on this guy here, but you know, I'm just really blown away. I really love this set right now. So I can't really find the words to talk about it, even though I should be, because this is a review. But uh, yes, you got everything. Um, you got the, uh, the gearbox system, so he moves around. Um, there's this little switch at the back of his head, so can flick his helmet off, if I can just retrieve that. And we also have the Skull Spider, so when his mask is knocked off, it's actually designed in the similar fashion as the masks, to latch on, like that. Now that, <laughs> I didn't put it on earlier, this is the first time uh, I'm putting on the Skull Spider, but that looks really cool. Um, the green's a little off, but you know, if it were, I don't know, red or gold, dude, that looks, that looks really sick. <laughs> That's all I can say. I mean, this set looks really cool. I'm really happy with these new Toa. They look really cool. Um, so yes, that's pretty much Tahu, Toa Fire. Let's put your original red Kanohi mask on because you look more natural with that. But yeah, that is Toha or Toa Tahu master of fire so if you like this video please comment rate and subscribe um i'll be unboxing more toa and more bionicle sets in the near future so stay tuned for those as well as some other unboxings i have planned this is Roy Bear 22 and i'll see you in the next video goodbye